Hey friends, Lois with LA Grace's Attic here. I'm just a few minutes late today. Um, coming at you live with a fun fall craft. Uh, we're gonna be uh, jazzing up a little truck that I found at the dollar store. Bear with me here. I've got a mountain. I just threw stuff in this tray. I've got that orange and white shirt you've been seeing me tear up. I still have some of that left. We've got some tool we're going to be using. Let me try to move this away from the hot glue gun. Ribbons, various ribbons I just grabbed. And here's the truck underneath everything. Isn't this the cutest thing? I know it's backwards. It says Harvest Blessings. And it's cute just like it is. I found it at the Dollar General, $4. But we're going to jazz it up a little bit. I got this for $4. This is some extra material that I have and more ribbon. And then of course I've got some buttons. I just threw everything that I thought might work in this tray. Um, let me put these buttons where they're not gonna get lost. And then this tray I got for $3 at the Dollar General as well. So it's a cute little, it's lightweight tray. It's the back of it. Um, so this was three dollars, this four dollars. So so far we're seven dollars in. All of these other things I had here at the house. So we're gonna work on jazzing this up and get the ribbons out of the way. We're gonna not use those till the end. And scissors. I'm kind of a hot mess today. <laughs> We've been running and doing errands and doing all the things. Uh, but I didn't want to miss the live today. I was not able to go live last week with a craft. Jordan and I didn't even do our science experiment. Um, we made a flying trip to Louisiana to help with a little bit of hurricane relief and to check on family and friends. So we were down there doing that. And so most of our week was dedicated to that. Um, please pray. If, if you're a praying person, pray uh, for the folks on the Gulf Coast. Gulf Coast is they are facing another hurricane this season. So, especially Southwest Louisiana, Southeast Texas, they're still trying to recuperate from Laura. And um, here comes another one. So please uh, be in prayer for them. So, but I wanted to bring you this cute, cute truck craft today and we're gonna give it away. So when we're done, we're giving this away. So this is how you get entered in the giveaway. Um, sprinkle the video. So when I say sprinkle, I mean send it to your friends on your page, send it to whoever you think or share it on your space um, so that we can get the word out about Ellie Grace's Attic and share our fun crafts and then let me know, come back in the comment section of this video and let me know that you sprinkled, just, just type sprinkled, however you wanna say it, just let me know that you sprinkled the video and we say sprinkled because you know the algorithms don't like the word share. So um, sprinkle the video, let me know in the comments and you'll be entered uh, for a chance to win the craft when we're done. So we're going to start out, this is cute again like it is, but we're going to dress it up a little bit. I have some antique wax. Um, we're just going to brush that on and wipe it right off. Let me get a paper towel ready. Depending on how dark you want it, I just want to put a little bit of color on it. And it doesn't matter. I'm really just going to kind of do the edges. It doesn't, I'm going to do a little bit of this, but it, we're going to cover, that part's all going to be covered. So we're just going to kind of do, I'm just going to, there we go, kind of get enough on my brush. And I'm just kind of brushing it in. If y'all are watching live, let me know where y'all are watching from. And again, we're just putting, we're not, going for total coverage we're just kind of just putting it brushing it on wiping it off kind of a deal just a little bit of color it's going to all come together antique wax doesn't always look beautiful at first but at the end it's going to give us a, a good look 
So, yeah, y'all let me know where y'all are watching from. And I'm going to tell you, we're doing a fall craft. But it is most unfall like in North Alabama this week. It uh, was cold for like a hot. Uh, ah! So sorry. We're going to put that back up. It was cold just for a brief moment. That's our little light blocker that decided to come down. Um, it was chilly for a brief moment last week and then it has warmed up and it's 80 something degrees today. Y'all um, hang in with me. I promise we're gonna make something cute of this, but you never know what you're gonna see on a live, right? So, hashtag real life. I'm just kind of catching the sides first. That's what I'm doing. If you're just jumping on, my name is Lois with Ellie Grace's Attic, and we take old treasures, give them new life with handcrafted love. We primarily do that with wooden signs. We make, we love our custom orders and all of the wood signs we get to make, but we just love anything crafty. And so I love sharing the crafts with you guys. I also, um, you never know what you're gonna see. Sometimes you might see um, a recipe, a life hack, Whatever um, makes my life easy, I like to share that with you guys. And of course, if it's crafty, that's even better. All right. This dries pretty quickly, so you don't have to worry about Do y'all hear the little boy in the background? He is playing a video game downstairs, but probably still hear him. Side edges. All right, so again, this tray, um, and I'm just really lightly brushing this tray, but this tray cost me three bucks at the Dollar General. Don't overlook the Dollar General. Always stop by. I'm going to do this part last, so I'm just going around. Not really worried about the back because it's not going to be seen. But I will probably finish it before I ship it to the winner, but we're, for right now, we're just going to work on the sides and the front. Get in this little doohickey here, the little handle hole. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, I get sidetracked really easy. Um, don't overlook the Dollar General. Dollar General, Dollar Tree, Family Dollar even. They have some cute stuff in their arts and crafts section. So, make sure anytime you have to run in for milk or eggs or any of those things that you're popping over, checking out their craft section. I mean, they have stuff that's cute as is, but then also things like this that you could put a little paint on, jazz it up to your taste, right? Because again, these little items were cute as is, but just not necessarily to my liking. And again, we're just putting, we're brushing on lightly some dark antique wax. This is a little bod bottle of Waverly wax that I got years ago. I got it at Walmart, if I'm not mistaken, but you can get antique wax, Walmart, Lowe's, anywhere craft supplies are sold. All right, do the corner. All right, I'm just kind of 
mirroring it in right now. If y'all are watching, if you've got questions about anything I'm doing, or just say hi, make sure to sprinkle the video because that's how you're going to get a chance to win. I promise it doesn't look like much now, but it's going to be cute in the end. I'm just kind of wiping off any part that might be wet. And then we're going to do the inside. All right, friends, we had a slight interruption there. I apologize. Um, hopefully it wasn't too much. I'm still dry or brushing on the antique wax, trying to be quick. And again, I'm just lightly doing this part because it's really going to be covered. Before we got interrupted, I was telling you to make, if you're watching today, if you have a question about anything I'm doing, go ahead and put that in the comments. I'll try to get to them before we're done. Um, also, make sure you're sprinkling the video to get a chance to win the craft that we're making or attempting to make. At this point, I'm trying to get the corners really good. Also, if you do sprinkle, let me know because that's let me know you actually did it just by putting in the comments that you sprinkled. I think that's going to be sufficient. Again, this center part's going to be covered. We're going to put that to the side. I'm just Kinda wiping off the excess because we're going to be working with this so we don't want to make a mess. Okay. I'm probably shaking y'all all around. Sorry about that. Gonna roll that up and put that over to the side. So now we have this and again it doesn't look like much. We'll finish the back later but we're going to put our truck in there in a minute we're gonna it's gonna be cute I promise so I had this piece of ribbon that I cut and what we're gonna do I think is just layer some ribbon and material in there with the hot glue gun so I'm gonna put this tray to the side and we're gonna cut a few pieces of ribbon that are the same length so don't be afraid to mix and match stuff like it doesn't have to be like mix and match elements it doesn't all have to be the same medium you can use wood with metal with ribbon with material and all the things just whatever you think is going to look good and just play with it till it gets to something that you're going to love in the end so, and don't be afraid to, um, just because you see something in the store, like I probably, this, like I said, this is cute like it is, but I was like, I think this could be so much cuter, right? So don't be afraid to think outside the box. Okay, I have four of those cut, so we're going to stick with that right at this moment. And y'all remember, if you've been watching me live, you remember this orange and white shirt or what was once a shirt. You see, I've cut it all up. Um, paid $4.99 for it at our local thrift store. And so we are going to cut some more out of that. And we've used it on several crafts. I think we made pumpkins with it. We dressed up an owl with it. We, um, we have done a lot with this shirt. So I'm just going to kind of use my ribbon as a guide and cut that. A few pieces of this. I don't know how many I need. 
but get that cut. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. We're just going for ballpark. I'm going to cut this along the edge. I don't know if y'all can hear the sounds of home behind me. We got the cat meowing to get out. Got the little boy playing the video game. Today is virtual school day. He's already completed his schoolwork. So he has earned himself some video game time. All right, I think, I don't know, what do y'all think? I think I could get a few more crafts out of this shirt, so we're not gonna throw it away. All right, I'm gonna cut this in half. Sorry. So I'm just cutting the material to match the ribbon, about the same width, same length. Okay, and we got the orange and white strips. We're gonna do some mustard yellow, which is one of my favorite colors for fall or any time. That's not, let me see. And just so y'all know, a little word to the wise, this, um, I went in at the beginning of the fall season to Hobby Lobby, found some materials that I liked, and I got just a quarter of a yard because I didn't know how much I needed, but I didn't really, Think I needed a whole yard so you can have them break it down you don't have to um, you don't have to be locked into a yard and I think this material was on sale for $7.99 I got a quarter per yard so I got a quarter of a yard which is around two bucks so can totally um, oops totally get less than the yard especially if you were just playing or just need it for like accent for um, a project concentrating hard so yeah don't forget we are going to pick a winner at the end of the video so if you sprinkle the video in the comments let me know that you sprinkled it and I have a really cool app you put the names in and then you once you get all the names entered you hit spin and it spins this awesome color wheel and picks a winner which is really cool, because the old way was write all the names down, put them in a hat, and pick one. <laughs> that took a little bit. This one is kind of just copy and paste. All right, so I've got two strips of that. I think that's all we're gonna need, but I'll just put this right over here to the side just in case. We need to grab some more. We're gonna get our tray. And what we're gonna do is just hot glue this ribbon down just to kind of create, see it's gonna cover up that back part. That's why I say we didn't really need to cover that too, too much because we're gonna cover it with material. So, all right. So yeah, we have several fall crafts still planned out to do for you guys, but we are also working on Christmas crafts coming up. I'm super excited about that. Um, we have some really cute things coming up for Christmas. Also, I need to say, if you're planning on getting a Christmas present from us or ordering anything that needs to be to you before Christmas, then our deadline for that is um, December the 8th. Let me look at my, yeah, December the 8th. Had to make sure. So, if you want something for Christmas, you got to order before December the 8th. And we're also running a special right now. 
if any order placed from now until December the 8th, you get a free Christmas ornament in your order. And they are stinking cute. I don't have one right here with me. I'll grab one before we finish and show you. But they're on the Facebook page. They're little wood slices. They're um, black with white. There's hope, I think, and peace and love and Merry Christmas. And I think Merry, Merry or Bright, something like that. They're really cute and they come, they're hanging on little twine. So um, that'll be fun to have for your Christmas tree. We also do personalized Christmas ornaments with baby names. So if you want an ornament, let me know before December the 8th or any other Christmas gift. Also, I don't know, not many people know that we do, we have an email list. We send an email out once a month. And the email folks, I tell you what, they got it going on. They get to find out all the new designs. They get to look at those first. They get to, um, get, they get specials every month, discounts. And they are like, the first look group. Put that back on the charger so it stays hot. So if you're not on the email list, go subscribe to that because you're missing out a little bit. What? Okay, this is cute already. All right, so we are just layering the ribbon and the burlap in here. So cute. This is a tray that we got from Dollar General. You know what? I'm going to need another glue stick. All right. Y'all talk amongst yourselves. This is real life, by the way. This is crafting in real life where you um, forgot something. And pardon me, I'm barefoot. In shorts, hanging out. Okay. Got my glue stick. Okay. Try that again. I was also thinking, y'all tell me what you think, those of you that are on here, or if you're watching it later, let me know you're watching it by typing replay in the comments, but you can chime in too. Um, thinking about doing, I did this before, a flash sale where I just come live, share with you all my inventory and it more than likely will be discounted a good bit and you just tell me what you want to buy so if y'all are interested in a flash sale probably closer to christmas before the deadline let me know all right i think this is cute all right so this is what the back looks like we just covered it with burlap ribbon and some strips of material i'm debating on if i should do one more orange down here probably not yeah okay all right now we're going to take our sign you know what i need plier here they are pliers we're going to try to get this puppy off because that's not going to fit in there so I'm just bending the wire to get that part off. And now we have this, this guy. I guess I could take the price tag off, but it's about to be hiding. All right, we're gonna put this guy in here. So cute. All right. I'm gonna kinda center him. I'm going to take my hot glue gun, try to get glue on all the I'm just gluing under like the edges. I'm 
holding that down. Now I will tell you too that normally you can't use, um, bear with me, you can't use just any glue to glue metal to wood. You need a glue that, um, and technically I'm gluing it to the ribbon, but it's got wood underneath it. You need a polyurethane glue like Gorilla Glue, which that's the glue sticks that I'm using. So you can do it, but it's not going to last. It's not going to hold for long. It's okay if you have a little excess because it's going to dry clear. I'm just kind of piping it under there like icing. All right. It's not completely dry. But this is what we have so far. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. All right. So now what I think I'm going to do. So I'm going to kind of bend these little leaves up a little bit just to kind of give it some dimension. And I'm going to take some white paint. That over some. Y'all, he is down there literally talking to the video game. <laughs> oh, let me see. I'm gonna shake this. I don't want a bunch. I just want to get some in the cap. There we go. So now I can just use this. So I think I like polka dots. So I'm just gonna paint some polka dots on our leaf because I can never have enough polka dots, right? This is turning out cute. Did I say I was giving this away? I really want to keep it now. I might have to buy another one and do it for myself. <laughs> Again, we're going to be giving this away, so sprinkle the video with all the crazy mishaps. My um, light blocker falling, the phone call we got in the middle. <laughs> all right. Should I do polka dots on this green one too? I don't know. I feel like I need to do something on there. But yeah, yeah I think I'm going to do polka dots because why not? Try to do some bigger ones on this one. Just so they'll be different. Make them a little bit bigger. No, but I'm still alive. Y'all, okay. I'm just a working mom, right? This is real life for sure. Okay, that's stinking cute. And you know what? I forgot to get my cup of water to dry my brushes. All right, this is what we have. How cute is that with the little polka dot leaves? How cute. So to give this away, we're going to give it away. Make sure you're sprinkling the video. All right, I think I'm going to try to. This is going to be the last thing because I'm not quite sure if I want to do anything else to it. Do y'all think I should do anything else to it, or y'all think it's good like it is? I'm going to try to bend these with my pliers. And Whoops, I don't want to do that. Okay. Maybe. The other one did so easy. Let me do it this way. Maybe. There we go. I'm just trying to get it flat. 
All right, so now we're gonna hot glue this booger on the back of this. Yeah. All right, let's try. I'm gonna turn it over and maybe. these up a little bit I can't really put a screw in the um, thank you Jana sprinkle a video you can win it which by the way I liked your little sensey thing you your little sensey thing with the chalkboard that was super cute Jana got a sensey warmer that has a chalkboard on it and a little place to hold the chalk. All right. And now I'm just gonna kind of bend this down like that. There we go. So I've kind of just bent it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I bent, look, my hand's full of wax. I bent this flat and then kind of bent it so it would go around that lip. But I can't really put a hanger on the back of this or any kind of screws because the base is really thin because it really it only costs three bucks at the dollar store so we're kind of working with what we have so I'm gonna try to hot glue this bad boy onto the wood and hopefully it's gonna do the trick if not I'll figure out something else but pretty sure we're gonna be good have to hold it while the glue dries. So, it's not going to be glamorous from the back, but it's going to get the job done. Couldn't get my hot glue gun back where it was supposed to be. All right, so we're just going to hold this for a minute while this dries. Maybe more than a minute. So, yeah, don't forget, December the 8th is our Christmas order deadline. If you want something by Christmas, the cutoff for the orders is December the 8th that's going to give us enough time to um, go through the process of giving you a good or creating a good product for you most people don't understand the process um, we uh, procure the wood we cut the wood sand the wood prep the wood paint the wood or stain it whatever you order it involves we design your um, create your design for your product we go through the process of proofing that with you and getting it approved before we begin production on final production then we hand we sketch and hand paint your design onto the wood we trim it out with framing if the order involves that and um, yeah we pretty it up if it has any embellishments I've got hot glue everywhere and then we ship it to you so that is like a two week minimum process um, sometimes three weeks so we want to make sure um, we can get you a wonderful product something that you're going to be happy with and our signs are built to last for posterity so um, we just want to make sure we get it to you like I said create the best product possible and get it to you in enough time that you can wrap it and get it under the tree for Christmas so that's why our deadline for orders is December the 8th a lot of people are like December the 8th that's so early but we're not a retail store like our products. I mean, we have some inventory um, in abundance, but 
um, we don't necessarily have, you know, every order is custom made for you guys. So that's why the deadline is so early. Um, and don't forget, you get a free ornament with every order from now until um, December the 8th. Also, let me know about flash sale. If you'd like to see the inventory uh, that we do have at a big discount before Christmas, before December the 8th, let me know. Put it in the comments if you're interested in that. And if I have enough people, I'll do a flash sale. But, okay, here's our product. Like I said, I'm going to do the back later. Um, but this is our fall Dollar General truck craft. Isn't this the cutest thing? And we've got the hanger glued on there, so it will hold. So there you go. We are going to add a ribbon, I think. I might add a ribbon, but I'll post the absolute finished product. But if you want to win this, sprinkle the video. I'm sure someone will get some relief out of my car, or some uh, relief, some comic relief out of my craziness. Words are hard today, y'all. <laughs> so anyway, if you want to win this, sprinkle the video, come back in the comments. Let me know that you sprinkled it. You'll get your name in the drawing to win this cute little Paul truck, and I'll get it shipped out to you um, before the end of the week. So thanks for hanging out with me, even with all the... Um, craziness. And I hope to see you again soon. Love you guys. Happy crafting.